Welcome to another Let's Draw tutorial with Procreate. This is the illustration we'll be completing today. I have attached a color palette and a brush set for you to download, so please grab those. The canvas size is 3000 by 3000 pixels at 300 dpi. And when you're ready, let's draw. Once you've created your canvas, I'm just gonna start off by pinching with two fingers just to make the canvas a bit smaller so we can see the four corners nice and clearly. We're then gonna go over to our color palette and we're gonna select the first color in the first row and we're going to drag and drop that onto our canvas. We are then gonna to go to our layers by tapping these two squares here and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna to go to our color palette and we're going to select the second color in the first row we're going to go to our brush set and we're going to want to select the soft brush and I've got the opacity set to 100 and I've got the size set to 30 percent we're going to go ahead and just darken the top half of our canvas until you've got something that looks like this we are then going to go to our magic wand tool we're going to select Gaussian Blur and we're going to slide our pencil from left to right until we get to around 65% and then we can tap the magic wand when we're done. We're going to go back to our layers. We can tap on layer two and we can select Merge Down. So now that's all sitting on one layer. Let's tap the plus sign for a new layer. We go back to our color palette and we're going to select the third color in the first row. We're going to go over to our brush set and we're going to want to select the medium nozzle. Let's just make sure our opacity is set to 100% and our size is set to 15%. We're going to go ahead and draw in a snowy hill. So I'm going to start on this side of the canvas and then draw an arc like this and then fill in the rest of our snowy hill by hand until you've got something that looks like this. We're then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on layer two and we are going to alpha lock the layer. Now, whatever we draw, it will only show up on layer two. And we're gonna go to our colors. We are going to select the first color in the second row. With the same brush selected, full opacity, I'm gonna bring that size up to around, say, 35%. And I'm just going to gently add in some shadow here at the bottom and then blend that out with very soft pressure towards the middle. We're then going to go to our colour palette and we're going to select the first colour in the first row. And we're going to bring the opacity down to, let's say, 25 or 26%. And then we're going to just go ahead and just darken up the bottom edge of our canvas here and then smooth that out from left to right until you've got something that looks like this. But we can actually go to our magic wand tool, we can go to Gaussian Blur and we can actually slide our pencil from left to right and just add in a 10 or 11 percent blur and then tap the magic wand when you're done. We are then going to go back to our layers and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to go to our color palette and we're going to select the second color in the first row. We're going to go to our brush set and we're going to select the Monline brush. And I've got the opacity here set to 100% and the size, it doesn't really matter, but I've got mine at 15%. We're going to go ahead and draw in a circle for the body of our penguin. I'm going to go ahead and do that and draw in a circle. Hold your pen in place and tap one finger on the canvas to make it perfectly round. And then we can drag and drop that colour in. Then I'm going to go to the arrow tool and we're going to want uniform and snapping turned on. I'm just going to tap on this node here and you can see my dimensions are 978 by 978. And then I'm going to position this circle into the vertical centre of our canvas. And you should see that orange line running down the middle. And you can tap the arrow when you're done. We now want to activate the symmetry tool because we're going to adjust this shape a little bit using the liquify tool. So let's go over to our wrench icon and we're going to want to be on canvas and we're going to toggle drawing guide. 
We're gonna edit that drawing guide and then we're gonna come over here and select symmetry. By default, you should have a vertical line running down the middle of your canvas. I'm actually gonna change the color of my line and I'm just going to tap here on the rainbow bar. So I've just selected a burnt orange just so we can see the line a little bit better because our background's quite dark and so is our penguin. I'm just gonna increase the thickness and the opacity just a little bit so you can see it on camera. And then I'm gonna tap done. So now whatever adjustments we make on one side, it will reflect on the other. Now let's go ahead and activate our liquify tool. And we're gonna do that by tapping on the magic wand. We're gonna select liquify. We're gonna want it in push mode. We want distortion and momentum set to none and pressure set to max. And then we're just gonna play around with the size here. So I've got mine at 60%. I'm just gonna bring in that bottom edge of our circle and just flatten it until we've got something that looks like this. And then I'm just going to very gently increase the height of our circle. So we've got this kind of cone, sort of rounded cone shape. And then we can tap the magic wand when we're done. We can then go back to our brush, making sure we're on them on line still at full opacity. And it, again, it doesn't really matter what size. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw in some ovals for his hands and then drag and drop that color in. We can now actually remove this line here because we don't need it anymore. So we can go over to the wrench icon, make sure we're on canvas and then we can toggle the visibility of the drawing guide. We are then gonna go to our layers we're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We are gonna to go to our color palette and select the third color in the first row. And again, with the online brush still selected, we're gonna go ahead and draw in an oval. Hold your pen in place and then fill it. We are then gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna slide layer four to the left and duplicate it. And the bottom one, we are gonna to go to our arrow tool and we're going to flip it horizontal. We are then going to drag that over to the right, keeping it in line with this shape on the left. So you should see those horizontal blue lines. We are then gonna go back to our layers. You can then pinch those two layers together. And then we're gonna grab our arrow tool with uniform and snapping turned on, and we're just going to position them in the vertical center. We're then gonna tap on layer four, and even though we don't have that drawing guide there, we can tap on the layer and activate drawing assist. And with the monoline brush still selected, I'm gonna rotate my canvas, and I'm actually just gonna draw in an arc, and I'm gonna hold my pen in place. Then I'm gonna to go to edit shape, and then I'm just gonna line that up to the bottom of our ovals. And then you can tap the brush when you're done. I'm gonna turn my canvas back around and then I'm just gonna join that up like so and then drag and drop that color in. Now I'm just gonna rotate the canvas again, make my brush a little bit bigger, let's say 35% and I'm just gonna tidy up that bottom edge just a little bit to make sure that transition is nice and smooth and you should have something that looks like this now. We are then gonna go back to our layers and we're gonna tap the plus sign for a new layer. We are gonna go back to our color palette and we are gonna select that second color again. We're then gonna to go to our S-shaped ribbon and we're gonna to want to select ellipse with color fill turned on. And we're gonna go ahead and just draw in an oval around this sort of size. And then we're going to tap on our brush and we are set to the monline brush. So now if we tap and hold our eraser, that is now set to the monline brush. And what we're going to do is we're gonna bring that size up to around 60%. And if we zoom in, I'm just gonna tap here on the top right-hand corner. Then I'm gonna bring the size down a little bit to around 20%. And I'm just gonna add a little dot here as well. And if we go back to our layers, we're gonna slide to the left on layer five and duplicate it. And with the top layer selected, we're gonna to go to our arrow tool with uniform and snapping turned on. 
and we're just going to drag that over to the left and bearing in mind we need to see those three horizontal lines to show that we're in line with this eye here and then we can tap the arrow when we're done we're then going to go back to our layers we can actually tap on the top layer five and merge down so they're sitting on one layer now and we can tap the plus sign for a new layer we are going to go over to our color palette and select the second color in the second row we're going to go to our S shape ribbon ellipse and color fill needs to be turned on and we're just going to go ahead and draw in an oval for his beak we're going to go to our layers we're going to slide this layer to the left and duplicate it we're going to go to the bottom layer six and go back to our color palette and select the second color in the third row and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that onto our shape you won't see any visual change because that's now sitting under this top layer six but what we're going to do is go to our arrow tool and we are just going to tap 10 times just below that orange square so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're going to go back to our layers and we're going to go to this top layer six tap on it and we're going to merge down so now they're on one layer we're going to go to our arrow tool with uniform and snapping turned on we're just going to position that in the vertical center and then tap the arrow when you're done we're then going to go back to our layers and tap the plus sign for a new layer we're then going to go to our brush set and we're going to select the flipper foot stamp and I've got the size here set to 12% at full opacity and we're just going to tap on the canvas I'm actually going to zoom out just a little bit then we're going to go back to our layers we are going to slide layer 7 to the left and duplicate it and with the top one selected let's go back to our color palette and select the second color in the second row and then drag and drop that onto the canvas we're then going to go back to our layers and we're going to tap on the lower layer 7 we're going to go to our arrow tool and we're going to do the same thing as what we did with the nose and we're just going to tap five times here so we're just moving it a pixel at a time downwards so one two three four five actually let's maybe do six seven eight eight times and then tap the arrow when we're done we're then going to go to our layers and we're going to actually pinch those two layers together we're going to slide layer 7 to the left and duplicate it. We're going to go to the bottom layer 7 and we're going to grab our arrow tool. We are then going to flip horizontal. We're then going to move this over to the right slightly. And we do want to see those three horizontal lines to show that we are in line with this foot here. Then let's go back to our layers. Let's go to the top layer 7, tap on it and we can actually merge down. We're then going to go to our arrow tool with uniform and snapping turned on we're just going to make sure our feet are sitting in the center of our penguin and you should see that vertical blue line running down the middle and then tap the arrow when you're done we are then going to go to our color palette and we're going to select the third color in the first row and we're going to go back to our mon line brush and we are going to bring the size of our mon line brush right down to the lowest that we can get it and then we're going to bring down the opacity to around 30 let's say 35 percent let's go back to our layers actually and we can put these all on one layer so tap on layer seven and merge down and then if we zoom in a little bit i'm going to add in just a little highlight here that opacity might be just a little bit too low so we can just tap with two fingers to undo that and let's go ahead and increase the opacity to let's say 50 percent and let's try that again yeah that's much better draw a little arc there and then let's go to the feet we're just gonna draw in little arcs as highlights and on this side as well it's very subtle but i think it looks pretty cool we're gonna go back to our layers and we're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer let's go to our color palette and we're going to select this bright red here we are going to go to our brush set and we're going to want to select the marker one 
and I've got the opacity here set to 100% and I've got the size set to 18%. We're gonna go ahead and draw in an oval without lifting up our pencil and we're gonna apply quite a bit of pressure so that we can get the lovely fluffy textured edge. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go in and draw in an oval and I'm applying quite a bit of pressure and if you have a look now, you can see we've got a nice fluffy edge to our earmuff. Let's go to our layers. We're gonna tap on layer seven and we're going to alpha lock it. And we're just gonna bring now the size down to 6% and we're gonna add in a shadow on the bottom half of our earmuff. And because of the blending mode of this brush, whatever we draw on top now, it will darken. So let's go ahead don't lift your pencil up and add in a shadow. We can then go back to our layers. We can slide to the left and duplicate this layer. With the top one still selected, we can go to our arrow tool. With uniform and snapping turned on, let's flip it horizontal. We can then move that over to the left. And then we just want to see those horizontal blue lines just to show that we are aligned with this one over here and then tap the arrow when you're done. So those are his little earmuffs, they look so cute. We're then gonna to go to our layers, we're gonna tap on layer seven and we're gonna merge down. Let's tap the plus sign for a new layer and then if we grab layer eight and drag it underneath layer seven, we can go to our color palette. We're gonna select the first color in the second row. Let's go back to our brush set and we're gonna want the Monline brush. Let's bring up the opacity now to 100%. And we're going to bring the size up to 80. And then we're just going to draw in an arc. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape. We can then go to our magic wand tool. We can go to liquify. Again in push mode with distortion and momentum set to none and pressure set to max. And I'm going to bring that size down to around 42%. I'm just going to adjust the shape just a little bit and just flatten that top bit out just a smidge until you've got something that looks like this. Let's go back to our layers. Tap on layer eight and let's alpha lock it. Let's go to our colors and we can select this first color in the first row. Let's go to our brush set and let's select the soft brush. And I'm gonna bring that size down to say 2% and I'm gonna rotate my canvas. I'm just going to add in a bit of a shadow at the bottom edge of the earmuff bar until you've got something that looks like this. And if you want to, you can go over to your magic wand tool. You can go to Gaussian Blur and just add in a very soft blur of 4% and then tap the magic wand when you're done. We can then actually zoom out a little bit because we're gonna go ahead and add in our trees now in the background. So let's go to our layers. Let's go to layer seven Tap on that and let's just merge down. So now that's all sitting on one layer as well. Let's go to layer two now and tap the plus sign for a new layer. Let's go over to our colors and we're gonna select the last color in the first row. We are gonna to go to our brush set and we're gonna select the dry ink two. And I've got the opacity here set to 100% and the size at 50%. I'm just gonna zoom in, and move my canvas over to the right a little bit ahead and draw in a very simple shape for our tree. And just make any sort of adjustments that you need to. And then we can drag and drop that color in, adjusting the color drop threshold. And you may need to go in and tidy up around the edges because we've, we're using a textured brush here. So we might need to just fill in those little white gaps along the edge until you've got something that looks like this. We're then gonna to go to our arrow tool and I'm just going to move that over to the left just a little bit to about here. Let's go back to our layers. Let's slide layer eight to the left and duplicate it. Let's actually zoom out first of our canvas. Grab that lower layer eight and we are gonna to go to our arrow tool and we're going to flip horizontal and then we're gonna move that over to the right and we kind of want to keep that in line with our tree over here on the left. 
So something like this, it doesn't have to be absolutely bang on perfect, but something like this is absolutely fine. Let's go back to our layers, go to the top layer eight again. We're going to slide to the left and duplicate it. We're going to go to the bottom one. We're going to go to our arrow tool and we're going to flip horizontal again. And with uniform and snapping turned on, we're going to just make that a little bit smaller and bring that over to the right and a little bit up until we've got it around about here. We're then going to go back to our layers and then slide this layer eight to the left and duplicate it. And the bottom one, we're gonna to go to our arrow tool and we are gonna flip that horizontal and then we're gonna move that over to the right. And again, we should see those three horizontal lines to show that we are in line with this tree here. And then tap the arrow when you're done. We can then go back to our layers and we can actually pinch all of those tree layers together and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're then going to go to our colours and we are going to select the first colour in the second row. We are going to go back to our brush set and we're going to select the marker brush. I'm going to bring the size up to 18% and I'm going to zoom in. We're going to go ahead and draw in some snow on the top of our trees. Don't forget, don't lift your pencil up because we don't want to add the shadows just yet. Then we can move over to this one. Drawing in the snow tops of our trees. And then we can move over here. And draw that one in, filling it in by hand. And then this one here. And I'm just gonna draw some snow here as well and then fill that in by hand, not lifting the pencil up, and then come over to this one and I might add in a little band here of snow. Again, not lifting my pencil up. We are then gonna go to our layers. We're gonna tap on layer nine and we are going to alpha lock this layer. And then we're gonna zoom in again and we're gonna add in some shadow at the bottom of our snow. And because of the blending mode, what we draw on top of this layer now, it's going to darken. So that's perfect for adding shadows. And then let's do this one as well. And then the bottom here too. We are then gonna go back to our layers. And while we've got alpha lock still on layer nine, let's go over to our colors and let's switch it out to this third color on the first row. We are then going to go to our brush set and we're going to select the soft brush. And I'm going to bring the size up here to around 4%. We are just going to, in a circular motion at full opacity, we're just going to add a little bit of a highlight here in the middle of our snow and then just here at the top a little bit. And then the same on this side here. Just add in a little bit of a highlight until you've got something that looks like this. We're then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna to go to layer eight and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We are gonna tap on layer 10 and we are going to clip and mask it. And we're gonna change the blending mode to multiply. And we're gonna just add in some shadows on our trees. And the reason why I'm popping this on a separate layer is because I'm gonna to want to adjust the opacity later on. So let's go to our color palette and we're gonna select the last color in the first row. We're gonna to go to our brush set and we're gonna select the marker one again. We want the opacity set to 100% and the size is at 18. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and underneath the snow here, we're just gonna add in some shadow. This one here as well. Now over on this side. And then under this shadow here. And then what we're going to want to do is actually add some shadow on the trees. And we can just fill that in by hand. And then here on this side. And then on this side as well. Drawing in, not lifting my pencil up. It's very important you don't do that because otherwise it will start getting darker. 
And until you've got something that looks like this, we are then gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on the M and we're gonna reduce that opacity down to, let's say 25%. We're gonna go back to our layers. We are gonna tap on layer nine and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're gonna to go to our color palette and select the second color in the second row. We're gonna to go to our brush set and we're going to select the star stamp. And I've got the size here set to 9%. I'm just gonna tap here and then I'm gonna tap here and then I'm gonna to go to my S-shaped ribbon. I'm going to turn off color fill and I'm just gonna select that shape Go to the arrow tool and then just move it over and then tap the arrow when I'm done. We are then going to bring the size up to 15% and then I'm just going to tap here. Again, I'm going to go to the S-shaped ribbon, select it and then just position it like so and then tap the arrow when you're done and then I'm going to tap here. I'm actually going to go back to the S-shaped ribbon, select this star, go to the arrow and then actually just tap on the canvas just to move it down a little bit and then tap the arrow when you're done. Now let's make these stars shine. So let's go over to our magic wand tool. We are going to select bloom and we're going to leave this transition set to max, the size set to 30% and the burn to 35%. And we're just going to slide our pencil from left to right until we get to 100%. And we've just added now a glow to our stars on our trees. And we can tap the magic wand when we're done. We are then going to go back to our layers. We're going to go back to layer two, this snow layer here. So tap on this layer and tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to change this blending mode to multiply. And then we're going to go over to our color palette and select the first color in the first row. We are then going to go over to our S-shaped ribbon with ellipse and color fill turned on now. And we're just going to draw in some ovals underneath our trees, underneath our penguin. And on this side too. And then we can tap the S-shaped ribbon when we're done. We are then going to go to the magic wand tool. We're going to select motion blur and we are going to, in a horizontal motion, we're going to slide our pencil from left to right until we get to around, let's say 30%. And then we're going to tap the magic wand when we're done. We are then going to go back to our layers. We're going to tap the plus sign for a new layer. We're going to go over to our color palette and we're going to select the second color in the first row. Go to our brush set and we're going to want to select the medium nozzle. I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100. I'm just going to lower the size down to say 15% and I'm just going to rotate my canvas. And just underneath, close to the bottom of the tree, we're just going to add in a little bit more of a shadow. And on this one here. And then we're going to do the same thing with our little penguin and the under his little flippers as well. And then let's move over to this side and add in a little bit of a darker shadow closer to our trees and the penguin. And then if we rotate back, you should have something that looks like this. Now we're nearly done, we just need to add in some snow. So let's go back to our layers. Let's go to the very top layer and tap the plus sign. We are then going to go back to our colours and we're going to select the third colour in the first row. We're going to go back to our brush set and we're going to select the Playful Snow one. And I've got the size here set to 65% and without lifting our pencil up, and you might need to zoom out a little bit more, we're just going to draw in our snow. Like so. And then if we actually go back to our layers, tap on this snow layer and let's alpha lock it. Let's go to our colors and we're gonna select first color in the first row. We're gonna go to our brush set and we're gonna select the soft brush. Now let's just bring down the opacity to say 60% and 
and I'm gonna bring that brush size up to say 30%. I'm then going to just very gently with low pressure, just darken those snowflakes there just a little bit. And if we pinch with two fingers and go full screen with four, that's today's tutorial completed. Thank you so much for until the end. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. Please come and share your designs with me over on Instagram. I would love to see them, but make sure you tag me in the image itself and then I'll share it over onto my stories. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe and smash the like button and hit the bell to get notifications every time I post something new to YouTube. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.